hello beautiful people it's your girl pretty choice and you're welcome to my channel how are you all doing i hope you all are doing well if you're my old and returning subscriber thank you for watching me thank you for supporting me today is your first time you come across my video you're highly welcome kindly click the red button down below and subscribe turn on the notification bell whenever i post a new video you will be notified so guys in today's video we're going to be talking about why africans americans haven't been to africa guys seriously this thing is going viral all over tiktok it's like they're debating on it seriously so in my own opinion i'm just gonna say and and i don't know why a lot of people are saying negative things about africa for me i would just say you have to go there first you have to go to the country before you judge you don't just like say it because other people are saying you have to see with your own eyes and i believe africa is one country that everyone goes to and they they welcome you with open hands so i don't believe what these people are saying you have to go there first before judging okay so guys i come across this video and i decided to share with you guys so i will review more details about this video i will just leave you guys to enjoy the show and you know let me know what you think about this video by dropping down your comment below and don't forget to like share subscribe keep watching me keep supporting your girl you know without further review i will see you all in my next one bye i don't know if uh <clears throat> you know this but africa isn't a country it's a continent but then you did back back and Talk about you're a Uganda person. You need to say with your friend. So allow me to elucidate uh, on what you illuminated, right? So you said there's a lot of places in Africa that don't like African Americans. Cap. Cap. You may know some people who don't like African Americans. But I highly doubt the majority of Africa hate African Americans. They may dislike some of the things that African Americans do. I'm not even going to say African Americans. I'm going to say black Americans do. Um, because we're taught to mac mock African culture. I don't think the issue is them not liking us. As we go over there and we don't respect them. That's... Of black Americans have never even been to Africa. Probably because our ancestors were forcibly taken from there and shipped to the United States and then made to work for free. So now we don't have actual money to travel back. And it's true, we don't know the culture. Practicing it was punishable by death. Ghana, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Senegal, Tanzania. I've been to Cape Verde and I've been to Gambia. All right. I haven't been to all the nations, so I can't speak for all the nations, but I can speak for the ones that I've been to and I was welcomed. So for everybody to keep on saying, you're not going to be welcome, you might not be welcome. I was welcome. I don't like you. You shouldn't be here. You're an African-American. You this and you're that. Nobody. Never. Everybody had a smiling face. Everybody seemed to be pretty happy that I was there, interested in finding out where I came from in America. If I was having a good time, am I hungry? <laughs> uh, Africans will feed you. All right, don't get it twisted. They will make sure your belly stay full. How you carry yourself is going to dictate how they're going to treat you. All right. All these African-Americans that keep on coming on my page talking about, I'm not going to act African. I'm not going to adapt. I'm not going to learn the culture or learn. I don't want to eat none of their food. Don't take your ass to Africa, period. Because Africans love to share their culture. They love to show you their culture. Seriously, they love that shit. And if you don't. If you're not interested in their culture, then why the fuck are you going? I've been a guy. Been to Africa. Well, most African Americans haven't either. I, I guess this wasn't explained that well in the video, or you just didn't watch the whole thing, or you're just not able to comprehend basic stuff. My guess is you didn't pay attention in high school. Basic ninth grade geography and lessons on races, ethnicities, and nationalities. So regarding African Americans in the United States, it's a very simple thing. It's actually three different things. One, they're black. Two, they're ancestors of slaves that were brought here on slave ships, and that continent that they are from is Africa. There's, you know, 50 plus nations in the continent of Africa. We're talking countries. Three, they're born in the United States. The whole point is that when slaves were brought here from the continent of Africa, ethnicities 
and families were broken up by slave owners and settlers. And over time, the country of origin within Africa has been lost on these ancestors. So, this is why they're referred to as African Americans, because they know they're from the continent of Africa, but are unsure of the country of origin. Now, I know this is going to go completely over your head, because you had to go, oh, wow, you're smart. That's what typically not smart people do. They don't personally have to be from the continent of Africa to be African Americans. And those that would come here from the continent of Africa now wouldn't be African Americans. They would be whatever their country of origin is. Just as it is every other place around the entire globe. We refer to people from China as Chinese Americans. People from Brazil as Brazilian Americans. People from... Canada as Canadian Americans, people from Mexico as Mexican American, Italy, Italian American. You get the picture. This isn't hard to figure out. You just apparently don't want to. Or, or there's a simple, very, very simple answer to this. You're racist and you don't give a fuck. I got a lot of white supremacy vibes from your comment here. Now, a normal individual that would maybe give off something like this and feel ashamed of doing it, would come back and say, no, 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 that's not what I was trying to do at all. I just didn't understand. But I can guarantee you won't do that. You'll pop back in and say, I'm not a racist, blah, 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 blah. Then start insulting on Joe Biden and the Democrats and all kinds of other shit uh, and, uh, you know, supporting and, and defending your, your, your daddy Trump. I've seen this over and over and over again. Nothing new. I'm not experiencing anything new. You decide the person that you're going to be. Now get to stepping. Be labeled as that? I don't understand it because I ain't never been over there. I don't know them people. It's comments like this that have me convinced y'all done lost y'all African mind. Y'all done lost y'all damn African mind. You mean to tell me we are not African. We are native black Americans like we organically sprung up in North America and we don't have any connection with Africa? You done lost your damn African mind, believe in that. Now I made several posts about this, but I'm gonna say it again. African Americans living in America possess at least 73% of Niger Codophonia DNA. Meaning that we come from the continent of Africa, not no damn North America. But I know majority of you guys don't like taking DNA tests because y'all think it's the white man science, y'all don't believe in it or something like that. But let one of your cousins get locked up and the only thing that can get his ass out is a DNA test. Y'all believe in it then. Let one of your cousins get a call from a girl and say, yo, it's your baby. I bet y'all be taking DNA test then to determine that he's not the father. It works when it works for you, right? But y'all don't believe in science. Y'all rather, y'all rather go around on TikTok and listen to these fake ass screenshot copy and paste historians who don't give you guys enough information on the subject matter and y'all are eating it up like sheep it is clearly dangerous for the community because y'all done lost your african minds and you're quickly losing your african integrity and another thing if y'all hate people lying all in the videos talking about you ain't africa come to death row if y'all tired of people screenshotting copy and pasting history and not giving y'all no book reference come to death row because it's Team Africa all day, every day. Shout out to the Zulus. Shout out to the Ebos. Shout out to the Hausa tribe. Shout out to the Fulanis. Never family, never family turn your back on your ancestral homeland. African immigrants need to go back to Africa. They don't respect African Americans enough. I was talking about Latin America and how racist they are against black people. What do Africans have to do with that? And who are you to tell them to leave? Okay, Joe Biden. African-Americans really do not embrace their culture. And In the last few years, I've noticed such a big wave of African-Americans seeking out their African roots to learn where they really come from. 
And on one hand, it's amazing to see, but on the other hand, I can't help but think that part of it is because people like this shame them into believing they don't have a culture just because they're African American. A lot of Africans have shamelessly berated African Americans for years for not knowing their own culture because they don't know the African culture that they came from. And it also causes them to put an asterisk on black people's Americanness. Both of these ideas are rooted in white supremacy, that black people can't have their own culture and they can never truly be American. A lot of Africans' refusal to recognize blackness as a culture is rooted in their refusal to recognize blackness as its own identity. Because Africans don't identify as black, we identify through our nationalities and ethnicities, which makes sense because we have a connection to where we come from. But for black people that don't have that connection, the only identifier they can really use is black. And ironically, Africans recognize that black people don't have that connection because they were stolen from their home cultures, but they will still hold that against them and use that as an excuse to shame them into looking for their African roots. But even this idea that an African American has to find their roots to legitimize their identity is hypocritical. Because if you're an African-American whose family has been in the U.S. for generations, what does it mean to you to be Yoruba or Amhara? Those identities just feel arbitrary to you. You have no direct connection to them. They haven't shaped you, your ideas, your perspectives, yet for some reason you're expected to find them to legitimize yourself. But what really gets me is I don't understand how Africans respond to this with shame instead of admiration. Like really think about the journey of African-Americans for a second. Millions of people from thousands of tribes, hundreds of ethnicities were enslaved from all up and down the west coast of Africa isolated and brought to a foreign land under the universal race of black. Though they didn't speak the same languages, come from the same places, have the same cultures, in a relatively short amount of time, were able to band together to create one community. A community that birthed a culture, a language, customs, everything that you would find in an African culture. And even then, y'all will fail to recognize black people as Americans. In that video, he talks about how confusing it is when he asks an African American where they're from and they say a US state. But I guarantee if a white American had responded that way, you wouldn't even think twice. Even if that white person, their parents, or even their grandparents immigrated from a European country, their Americanness is automatically validated because they're white. But an African American who's a descendant of enslaved people, whose family has been in the US for five, six, seven plus generations, is not an American, especially considering America was literally built on the backs of enslaved black people. No one has earned their Americanness more than black Americans. But instead of acknowledging and admiring what they've built, Africans are too busy shaming black people onto Ancestry.com to find the African roots that they're not even connected to to validate an identity that they had all along. Now, nah, y'all, the confidence with which this person proclaimed that there are no black people in Africa, I had to do a double take in the mirror for a second because I thought I was wrong. <laughs> I thought my existence was a lie. <laughs> But on a serious note, I'm not a teacher, but I've gotten this kind of comment more than once. Um, black is a race. America didn't invent black. Yes, there are black Americans, but there are also black Africans, just like there are black Europeans. And ooh, maybe also black Asians. Wow. Mm. Just to drive it home a little bit more, Candace Schwanepoel, Victoria's Secret's model, white South African, me, Amanda, black Ghanaian, yeah. The more black Americans come to this continent, they will not handle it with grace. Disrespectfully, some of y'all don't need to go to Africa. Disrespectfully, some of y'all just stay in the States. I beg, please stay in the States. See me, myself, I was gonna keep quiet about the things that I saw on the internet concerning Detty December and the concerts and parties and things that y'all did in Ghana and Lagos and all over the continent of, of Africa. But let me just forewarn you, if you are not born in Africa or have never been to Africa, please leave your preconceived notions, your biases and what you've seen on the news and on television at the door or don't go at all. I literally saw captions with people saying, don't go to Africa, don't go to Afrochella, don't waste your time, don't waste your money. Did Astro World not happen here in the good old United States of America? Did people not get trampled at a concert here in the US? And shocker, you go to a continent and, and you get stolen from, shocker? Oh my God, did Kim K not get stolen from in Paris? Like, 
are you shocked that you go and there's bad people everywhere that you, there's bad apples everywhere that you go and instead of realizing that you going out and saying don't go somewhere feeds into the biases that's already against africa instead of realizing it and saying hey how can i phrase this or how can i say this or how can i say here are the things you need to be cautious for you get on the internet and say don't go it's not worth it in 2021, I went back home to visit my family. And on my way back from Accra or Kumasi, Ghana, I sat next to a woman who is from New York. She's black American. And me and her just started talking and I asked her why she was there. And she said, Africa's my adopted country. She said, I found out my ancestry was from Ghana and I've been back 12 times now. And she said, I ended up bringing these other ladies with me. They were on another part of the plane. And she said, it was one of the worst mistakes I ever did. She said, they came here thinking they were going to get the United States out of a continent. That's not the United States. And they complained the entire time. She looked at me and she said, Fumi, some people don't deserve Africa. And I learned my lesson about bringing people who did not deserve Africa into Africa. Anytime I meet a black American that has not been to Africa, I always tell them, you should go find out your ancestry, go, go visit such a beautiful continent, but make sure you go there with the right mindset and a heart to receive, leave your biases at the door or on the airplane. Bye. You do realize white folks started calling us African-American. We didn't just call ourselves that. Y'all gave us that name. So if you believe it sounds stupid, then you're calling yourself and all of your white ancestors stupid as well. Just keep that in mind. People should not be allowed in Africa.